What's going on guys, Sterling with Handsome WP, and in this video I'm gonna demo how to set up a WooCommerce checkout. So say you have a product you're selling via WooCommerce and you want somebody to be able to click a link in an email and be taken directly to the checkout and to be able to buy your product. So I'm gonna show you two different methods. The first method is gonna be just using functions and default WooCommerce functionality. Number two is going to be using Handsome Checkout which is our, our checkout plugin. So we're gonna kind of compare the two. Let's start first with setting this up, kind of the free method. Um, and this may work for, for some people, so if this works for you, uh, go ahead and do it. So here you can see, we first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a URL. And this URL is going to contain our domain name and then a forward slash checkout, because we're taking them to the checkout page, forward slash question mark, add to cart equals, and then the ID of our product. Now how you get the ID of the product is we're gonna come back to our products. We'll open all products in a new tab and then we can see all the products that we have. If we hover over the product, you'll see that there's an ID next to it. So, so you can just grab this ID and copy it and then that is going to go at the end uh, of the add to cart equals the ID of your product. And that's going to make sure that that product gets applied to your checkout. Now. Um, I'm gonna come into my scripts and I'm going to turn off my advanced script and we'll, we'll check this script out in just a sec. But I'm going to uh, now hit this page. So I'm hitting that URL that we just created and you can see that it added the t-shirt to my checkout. I land on my checkout page. Now this is just a default WooCommerce checkout page. Um, I'm forced to have company name and phone and order notes and all these kinds of settings uh, or extra fields on here and it's just not you know, just kind of basic looking. Um, I do have links up in the top where I can be taken away from this checkout page and I have links in the footer as well. So I can take myself away from this checkout page once I hit it. Um, so that's not ideal either. And then if I hit this page again, so let's refresh this page again, you'll see that my quantity goes from two to three. So it actually is not clearing out uh, these orders. It's not clearing out anything else I have in my cart before it adds this product. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a function to our functions.php in order to do this. Now I would suggest not adding functions to your functions.php. I would suggest using a third-party plugin and a great one to use if you don't want to uh, don't want to have to buy one is if we go to add new and we search for snippets going to pull up the snippets plugin and this plugin works great uh, code snippets so install that and this will allow you to add a function and then to have it loaded on your website without uh, without actually having to update your functions.php because if you break your functions it can make your your site not load and it can cause other issues or you'll have to add it to the functions of your child theme and then so it doesn't get overwritten when your theme gets updated so that is something else to note I'm going to use a script manager called Advanced Scripts, which I absolutely love. I'm going to throw a link in the description so you guys can check that out if you want. Um, but basically, here is the script that we're going to add in. And there's one piece of information we need to customize. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, if the cart is empty, uh, then don't do anything if it is, or if it uh, contains the ID of my product. So we need to also put the product ID in this function. And then if you have multiple, you can put a comma and then add another ID there. But we're just gonna do just the one ID, then we're gonna say, then empty the cart and don't add multiples of this product because I wanna just sell one version of this product. So let's save and activate. Now we're gonna come back to that checkout. You can see we have three shirts in there right now. So we are going to refresh this page, which is hitting that URL once again. And now you can see that that, uh, that quantity has been changed to one. So if I refresh again, there you go, it's back to one if I refresh again, back at one. So it's not gonna be adding multiples now because we added that function, we enabled it, and it's only going to, whenever that t-shirt is in that add to cart URL, it's gonna clear everything else out so it's bought by itself. This is not the ideal uh, scenario for a lot of people because you're going to have to add the functions and customize functions and add them to your website. And you're also going to be stuck using the default Woo WooCommerce checkout which is not bad, but is not, uh, is not really great either. So let's, uh, let's head over to Handsome Checkout and let's see what we can do over there. Here we are in a Handsome Checkout. All I did was click Create New Checkout. I put in the title of my checkout and then I selected Checkout Page and it loaded in all my settings and created a URL for me. 
Now, once I am in my actual checkout settings, you can see I added a t-shirt product. I can add as many or as, or as few products as I'd like. And I can also sell by variation. I can sell different quantities. I can do a whole bunch of other stuff. And if you want to uh, dive a little more in depth to what Handsome Checkout can do, I have other videos running over how to set this up and how to set it up for quantity and variations and all kinds of stuff. But we're gonna keep it really simple, selling one product. Now you can see I can custom customize my title and my description. I can customize what that text looks like on any of these by clicking on these little cogs. I can add a custom product image. I can add an order bump if I want, which I cover in another video. I can, uh, I can custom, like I mentioned, variations and quantities. We're not gonna worry about that, but you can uh, say you have a t-shirt and you have three different colors. You can present all three different colors on the checkout and people can easily swap it between the three, which is great. And then I can select these beautiful conversion-based templates. So you can see I have multiple templates that I can select from. We have a two-step template, which is awesome if you wanna break that checkout process into multiple steps. Um, I'm gonna stick with the Marketing Pro two-column layout. Once I scroll down, you can see I can customize my template colors. So not only do I get to use one of these beautiful templates, but I can make it match my branding. I can customize the fields that are shown, so I'm not, I'm not forced to have all those fields. If I don't wanna have a coupon box, I can uncheck that or phone number, I can uncheck that. If I wanna just have first name and email, I'm not shipping the product. If I am shipping it, then I can include shipping and billing as well. Um, I can show my order details, so I'm going to uh, check that, show my order details, just to show you that the product is added to my handsome checkout, but you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to, you can just have the product in there always. Whatever product you set on this page will automatically be loaded. And then I'm, this is just for the multi-step uh, template if you wanna fill this out. Here's my logo. Here are some of the custom features of my product so I can set as many custom features as I want. Um, I say that my t-shirt features are warm, comfy, and awesome. And then here is my testimonial uh, info. So I'm gonna say testimonials. Um, so this would be my testimonials title and then here I can add an image if I want to. And I can say this t-shirt is awesome. I want another one. And then I can actually add, um, I can add a trust point as well. So I'm gonna come into here and I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna add a ch check mark and I'll say American made. Made in America. So you can put whatever you want here. You can put trust seals, you can put uh, anything that you want to draw attention to uh, as a feature, as a trust point or a trust uh, feature. Um, you can add as many as you want. Just add another one if you want or remove them. You can customize these, which is awesome. And same thing with the testimonials. You can add multiple testimonials if you want. Um, and then let's update and we'll come back to our handsome checkout and we will see what it looks like. So let's go back to We'll just open this guy in a new tab. So we would give people the direct link to this page. And you can see here we have our information. Here's what's added to the order, which we can hide this. We don't have to have this. Now, because we have multiple different templates, it's super easy to swap between them. So here's our Marketing Pro. Here's our Minimalist. Let's head back and we will refresh. So a completely different look and feel. And then let's go back and let's even check out our two-step because we filled out our two-step fields. All we have to do is click on it and now here's our two-step and we can swap between our different steps, place our order, go back to our previous step. It's so easy to, to set up a one product sales page uh, using Handsome Checkout versus doing it uh, with functions and with URLs uh, through WooCommerce, as you can see. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was helpful, um, be sure to give us a like and a subscribe. It helps us out a ton and I'm gonna be creating a ton more content uh, about just how to use WooCommerce and how to, a lot of free stuff, how to just take advantage of, uh, of WooCommerce and do the things you need. Now, if you want to uh, have a system that helps you do it more efficiently and just more beautifully and just better all the way around, we have built some plugins that help our customers make more money through their WooCommerce checkout, increase their conversions, and do all kinds of stuff. So I have all those links in the description below. Feel free to check our products out. 
If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment on this video or head over to our website and, and you can submit our contact form there as well. Once again, I really appreciate you watching. My name is Sterling with Handsome WP and I will see you in the next video.